22 years old, I was working full time and playing music on the side. Life for me was just starting to take shape. Uh, my opportunities seemed endless. I was being promoted at work, our band was becoming more popular. However, I noticed for quite a few months, I had not been feeling up to par. Something wasn't right. I noticed a small growth in my neck and realized that my energy level had significantly dropped. After a few trips to the doctor, after doing a biopsy, we found out that I had cancer. Doctors told me that I had less than a year if, I, if not treated aggressively. Seeing that in a blink of an eye, everything I was working so hard for was being stripped away. After many months of testing and treatments that followed, my strength dissolved. I was not able to function at my job due to the intense drugs I was taking. My hair was falling out at an alarming rate. My friends began to distance themselves from me. I think because of my usefulness to them was over. They saw me differently somehow. I realized that my friends and family were not prepared either for the changes they were all experiencing. The cancer drugs and the radiation were also taking its toll, so I quit going to treatments and started to rely on illegal drugs and alcohol to help the pain. That was one decision that started me on a course of no return. I lost my job. Shortly after that, was kicked out of my apartment. I had finally hit rock bottom. The streets became my home. The shadows in the alley became my alleys. I did not know what to do. I stole folk food, slept in very scary places, wanted out, but there was no one to hear me. One guy would show up at this house while we were partying and started to tell me about that stranger, the one who had been with me the entire time on the streets, the one who had kept me safe when no one else cared. He introduced me to my now savior, Jesus Christ. I thank God that he gave me the gift of repentance. Shortly after, I was given a ride to Christian ministry to help the, that helps the homeless. I was there for four years, and after time I became one of the counselors. That ministry changed my life forever. The years of the ministry were full of challenges and growth. I full well see the, see the value of ministries like a servant's heart and pads, and many others like them. They are, necessary, they are necessary in our communities. They provide a love and compassion that in today's world is becoming more rare. My challenge to you is to start to get involved with these great ministries. Start to support these wonderful people in the work they do. The work is challenging, but it is very rewarding. I hope you will start to see these ministries are lighthouses to the lost, beacons of light to the underprivileged, and sources of strength to those in need.